Welcome back. A nonprofit in Mobile helping revitalize parts of downtown. Fox Tintania Sprags has more on a groundbreaking ceremony to celebrate. Two, one. Thank you. This piece of land in downtown Mobile will soon be transformed. It's a duplex, so we're going to get two residential units on this one lot. The two story duplex being built at the corner of Dearborn and Congress Streets now owns to Frankie Miller, a developer who lives in Atlanta. Miller bought the lot after his niece in Mobile told him it was up for sale. I'm happy to be like the first one to set the pace for everybody else around here in this neighborhood. And you know, I'm just looking forward to revitalize in the city of Mobile. Miller's investment is part of a larger project to revamp part of the city. I'm thinking in the next Within the next month, we're going to see ground broken on three more uh, new cottages in this uh, in the area. With so many abandoned homes and vacant properties near Dunbar Magnet School, the nonprofit organization Downtown Mobile Alliance has started an initiative to rebuild the community. Uh, to try to redevelop what was once a really vibrant part of the city. Carol Hunter says Downtown Mobile Alliance purchased nine empty lots in the area and sold them to various developers. Well, I think what we're seeing happen is a knitting back of the fabric of our downtown. District 2 Councilman William Carroll and District 1 County Commissioner Marcia Ludgood were among members of the community present at the groundbreaking to celebrate the revamping of Dunbar. In Mobile, Anaya Spraggs, Fox 10 News.